Hello, viewers at home. Welcome to a Gold Star e-learning program. My name is Stan Onyek. Today, we are going to... I'm going to take you people on um, mathematics for JS1, week one. The topic today is area of plane shapes. When we talk about the plane shapes, we are talking about the rectangle, square, triangle, trapezium, parallelogram, circles, etc. Now, as we are talking about the area, what is the area of a shape? The area of a shape is a measure of its surface. Let me repeat myself. I said the area of a shape is a measure of its surface. And when we find the area of a, a shape, we use the square. That's, the square is used as a shape for the basic unit of area. Assuming if the area, if that's how we get is 21, and maybe the, the question is, is in a meter, maybe what they are giving you, the, the values they are giving you is in a meter, when you get 21, it should be 21 meter square. That's what we mean. Or what if the, the variable is, uh, if the number given to you is a centimeter, that means that it should be 21 centimeter square. So that is what we mean by saying that the square is used as the shape for the basic unit of area. So let us go proper to the area of the rectangles and the square. The diagram on the board is just a, a, a sketch of a rectangle and a, a square. Here, the area of a rectangle, when we want to get the area of a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is just a length times by a breadth. That is, if we use L as the representation of a length and you use B as the representation of a breadth, that means that it should be L times by what? Multiply by B, which is breadth, and equals to what? LB. So that is for the rectangle. For the square, you know that a square is a shape in which all the sides are what? Equal. Then, the area of a square there is length multiplied by length. That is what? L square. And if you want to find the side of a square, the side of a square is just the square root of the area of the square. Assuming you are giving the, the value for the area of the square, and you don't know the side of the square, we just find the square root of whatever it is given to you as the area. And that should be what? The side of the square. So, let us move on and have some examples on the words, rectangles and what? Squares. Look at example one. Calculate the area of a rectangle CCM by 3.5 CM. Calculate the area of a rectangle CCM by what? 3.5 CM. What do I mean by CM is what? Centimeter. That is 6 centimeter by 3.5 what? Centimeter for number one. Give you. We have a length here as L. Let L equals to what? CCM. Breadth B equals to what? 3.5 CM. Now, length, area, sorry, area equals to length times what? Breadth. And is equals to what? 6 times by 3.5. And is equals to 21 centimeters square. That's the area for the rectangle. Right that is for example one. Calculate the area of a square advertising board of a length 5 meters. Calculate the area of a square advertising board of a length 5 meters. Solution for number three, given length equals to five meter. And you know that we are talking about square, and we say that square is a plane shape in which all the sides are what equal. That means that the area now is equal to length times length which is what? L square. Area A equals to, when we say that L is 5 meter, that means that area should be what? 5 times by 5 equals to 25 meter square. For example, for here, the question says, calculate the area of the shape below. All measurements are in meters and all angles are right angles. What do we mean by that? That all measurements are in meters. These, um, 
Numbers we see here, 337924, all is measuring words in meters. So, when we start, if we are going to start for the solution, we are going to draw the diagram back. Look at it, we just do the sketch of it. We have three here, have three here, we have seven, we have four, we have two, we have nine. From the diagram now, we split the diagram into a square and a two rectangle. Look at it. If you draw from here to here, from here to here, you will see that since here is 3 and up here is 3, that means that here is square. So that is for the square. Then if you draw from here to here, we see that here the base here is 4 and the length here is 2. That means it's what? Rectangle. And here also is also what? Rectangle. Now we split. Splits the diagram into one square and the two rectangles. That is what we have done here. Now, what we have now is that for square area, for square equals to three times by three. That is L square, and is equals to nine. Three times by three is what nine meters square. Then. For the first rectangle, area for first rectangle, if you look at if you look at it here, you can see that if from here to here is seven meters, that means that from here to here is three. We are now going to have 7 plus 3, which is what? 10. And if it is, if from here to here is 9 meters, that means here is 3. We are now going to subtract 3 from 9. And it should be 9 minus 3, which is what? 6 meter. Now, area now equals to 10 times by 6, which is equal to what? 60 meter square. For the second rectangle, area equals to 2 times by 4 which is what? 8 meter square. Therefore, the area of the diagram equals to area of the square plus area of the two rectangles. Imply Area of the square here is what? Is 9 meters, which is 3 times by 3. And we have, we have 9 plus. Area of the first rectangle is what? 60. Area of the second rectangle is what? 8. Therefore, the, to, the area of the diagram now is equal to 90 plus 60 is what? 69 plus 8, that should be what? 77 meters square. That is the final answer.
Assignments, calculate the area of the shapes below. All lengths are in meters and angles are right angles. Thank you. Hello viewers at home. We are, we are coming to the end of today's lesson. See you people next week. Thank you.